Welcome back to All Real Estate, all the time with the only general contractor in town who wears a dress every day, Whitney Nicely. Eric always gives me a hard time when I'm not actually wearing a dress and it says I am, so I'm giving false advertisement. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, so we're talking about landlording. We're talking about cash flow, and we're talking about profits here today. Yeah, I get it. You see, phase one, collect underpants. Phase two, phase three, profit. <laughs> <laughs> that is, who is South that? Park. South Park. The underpants gnomes. I'm going to have to look up this clip because I still don't get it. <laughs> yeah, they have they have this big plan to make money. They collect underpants, then a question mark, and then they make profit. Oh. So So they have to sell them? They don't know. We don't know. What they, they don't do. know the middle. They don't know what the middle section is, but then they get to profit. I know what the middle part is, and it's to send Whitney your houses right. so you can make some profit. Exactly. <laughs> I can make profit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about cash flow, and we're talking about how mom and pa landlord probably loses more money than they think they are. By yes. not hiring a property manager. And since Julie is our resident expert property manager, give me some examples. Let's say the HVAC, the heating and cooling unit, goes out. I call my contractor who I have a working relationship with. I send him a lot of business. He goes out, takes care of it, brings me the invoice. I pay him. And then when rent comes in the next month, I deduct it from the rent and send the owners the remaining amount. If a ma and pa outfit are doing this, it may take them a week. And honestly, right now, these HVAC companies are running about a week or longer to get to calls. So they're going to have a tenant sweating their brains out, pretty much. <laughs> and they are going to get upset. Yes. I have tenants, if they have to wait two hours, they get upset. Yes. So what do tenants do when they get upset? Yelp. <laughs> yeah, they yell, they text, they scream. And then if they have to wait much longer, they like to pull the disappearing act. Mm-hmm. Maybe a rent disappears. Yes. And then you're looking at attorney's fees. Even though they're not right, but tenants do it anyway. So if I'm a mom and pa landlord and I've got a buddy that does heat and air units and he can't get there for a week, I am, you know, up a creek with my tenants. You need to get somebody out there quickly because it's uninhabitable. Absolutely. And as long as they have air conditioning when they move in, they expect to have it all the time. Now, a yes. lot of tenants will work with you. They know it's hot. They know it's summertime, but yes. they want it done quickly. Yes. Now, you as a property manager, you're going to get a discount. You've probably got somebody almost on staff that yes. can go look at these properties within an hour or two or at least that day. Yes. And mom, pa, they may spend two or three days getting quotes from different oh. air conditioning guys. So then it's two or three days later and then they yeah. can actually do the work and you just lose a lot of time, which equals money. And they probably end up paying triple what I would because I have the connection the other thing is they're gonna have to come out of this with their money with their money out of their pocket yes so what's cool and I think when mom and pa are deciding whether or not they need to go with a property manager they're gonna look at the end profit and they're gonna say well I didn't get as much money this month and you can say well remember I took this money out for the AC unit versus you having to come out of pocket yes and a lot of people are living month to month and they can't afford to come out of pocket for a new heat and air unit. So nope. it actually benefits them to have it come out of the rent yeah. next month yeah. as, you know, yeah. just a balance. Yep. And a lot of times those repairs, especially on HVAC units, are inexpensive and they're fast. Coils need to be cleaned or sometimes the tenant didn't change the air filter. So they're responsible for that charge uh it could be little things but you're gonna waste time you're gonna waste a lot of money not having a connection that will come out and do it immediately i i have a heat and air guy and i just love him to death because yeah. it doesn't matter if i have a property in morristown that needs repaired yep. or if i'm out in pal he's he's there and he works with me because he knows i'm gonna pay him yeah that's the other thing a lot of times the heat and air guys the contractors the plumbers they don't necessarily put you at the top of their list because they don't know if you're gonna pay them as soon as the job's done yeah whereas i've been working with these guys they know as soon as it's done they get a check exactly and i go straight to the top of the list yep because i call them a lot yep. and i pay them <laughs> And I don't have to put it on a credit card and I don't have to give exactly. all this stuff. They're getting a check. They're going to go cash it, it that day. They love it. And a lot of mom and pa, so when they 
when they decide, I mean, how much do you charge every month to manage these properties? It depends on the client and depends on how many units it is, but it's a percentage of the rent. So for example, let's say it was 10% and the house is, this $100,000 house is written for 900. I'm keeping 90 bucks. 90 bucks for no headaches. For no headaches. I just send you a check. That sounds awesome to you me. You don't have to listen to the tenant yell about the AC being out for two hours or that the, there's a pipe dripping under the sink. You, you just get to money at the end of the month, right? And they don't know who you are, which and a is lot awesome. Of, a lot of times, uh, property managers are busy people. They're doctors. They're lawyers. They yeah. don't have time. Or they're nurses. Or they're real professional people. They're teachers. And they don't want to be on call 24-7. So that 90 bucks a month? It's worth it. And you don't... And tell me about how that comes off on your taxes. I get to deduct it, that it on is. my taxes. It's tax deductible. It's just like hiring an attorney or hiring an accountant. Yeah. It's maintenance. So it's not even money that you're spending every money, every month. I look at it as money I've gained. Yeah. 90 bucks a month for no headaches, no and calls. And I get the midnight no. calls. You don't. Absolutely. And those happen. I totally vote for the property manager, and I, I know I can say that because I am a property manager <laughs> and because I'm trying to figure out how I can transition over to not being a property manager, yeah. to having somebody on my staff all the time. Well, if you're wanting to, you know, just like you said, a lot of people are other professions, and when you get home at night, you may have been working on something that you like better in real estate. And you've got all these text messages from people wanting to see an apartment or, you know, crying over their application fee or whatever. You don't want to deal with that. It's easy to pay somebody to do it. Absolutely. And I know a lot of mom and pa are mom and pa landlords who are elderly. Yeah. Oh. And bless their heart, they run themselves to death. They do. Tending to these tenants when you it do. could just be 90 bucks a month and that's it. Yep. Yeah, I run into that quite a bit, and that, and they are stubborn, and they want to do it themselves. I get that, but what happens when you're physically not able to do it? And you, it's easier to go ahead and start transitioning into property management before you get to that point. I'll also say that a lot of the elderly mom paw landlords, they have kids that just aren't interested in it. Oh, yeah. And if you have kids that are not interested in it, then you can either go ahead and sell that property, set it up on an owner finance deal with me, call Whitney Buys Houses, 309-4500, or you can ensure that your kids are just going to get that monthly income yep. without having to worry about it, and that's when the property manager is good. Yes. Yep. And I give me another pro for having a property manager. You get to deal with me. No. <laughs> uh, another pro of property management. There's so many. Well, one thing I would say is definitely, and we've kind of spoken about this, but really hammer in on the prices that you oh, get. Yeah. When the contractor goes out, a, you get, Yeah. it's not just a discounted rate. It's it's still a amount of money, but it's less it's and a, it's a it's, quicker yes. turnaround time. And even the cleaning crews. Oh, yeah. And you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to schedule all this. I do it. Yes. Property managers do that. And what are some of the other hidden things that they do behind the scenes? Like, you, you're always talking about tax returns. In January, you're swamped. Yeah, I send out 1099s. So that they don't have to do anything but hand it over to their accountant. I exactly. mean, it's, it's completely hands-free, hands-off real estate investing. And another um, pro, property managers get more rent for their houses. What? Yep. How's that? Because we ask for it. <laughs> and we know what the market can stand. Just like whenever you mentioned your Fountain City house. And I said, nope, you need to ask more. Yeah, and I'm still eating that. I get good money for my houses. Yep. Um, I think on av my average for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom is 1150 in Knoxville. See, that's more than I get on even a rent-to-own house. Yeah. The house I have in Powell is 1250 a month. And it's rent to own, so I'll give you part of that payment towards the purchase price every month. Yeah. Uh, let me let me just take a quick second too. If you're listening early in the morning, I'm yeah. going to be on TV today, and I just want to remind everybody I'm going to be on WATE at 9:45, and I'm talking about how women can start a real estate portfolio. How I okay? 
here's my official spiel. I teach women how to cash flow real estate investments in 90 days or less. That's awesome. And that's what it is. I will teach you how you can start making some money in real estate in 90 days or less. So I'm talking about that on WATE today. And if you're hearing this on a replay or later in the day, I'll be sure to put it up, put the video on Whitney Buys Houses Facebook page. Also, I put a lot of live videos up there and I just have a bunch of fun on Facebook. I love it whenever I get the notification and I actually have a minute to like click on it and watch you. <laughs> I have so much fun. <laughs> and then next weekend I'm going to be on a different channel in Knoxville talking about how you can flip a house on the weekend for less than a hundred bucks. And we're actually going to go to one of my houses and I'm going to show you some things that you can do around the house on a weekend that any lady can do and do it quick and do it cheap and get more money. Yeah, that I actually finished up my book this week and it launches in September. I've got so much going on right now. And uh, the title of it is Buy Small, Sell Big. And that's what I'm going to teach the ladies how to do in this book. So awesome. if you have any questions, you have any houses you want to get rid of, call Whitney Buys Houses, 865-309-4500. And if you need some gravel for a driveway or a building project, call my mama, 865-933-0225, Walker's Truck Contractors. Thank you. Thank you.